I'm very fortunate being from Columbus. I watched tons of games as a kid, and then in reversal to be on the field, it's that much more meaningful to have those young kids who I used to be cheering for me now. It's, it's surreal in a lot of ways. I think Columbus is a really, really big small town. The people are friendly. You get that small town feel, but at the same time, all the amenities of a big city. Basically, it's a place where you don't really have to make compromises. I think it's, it's just a growing city. There's a lot of like a young crowd, a lot of positive energy, a bunch of artists getting together, doing awesome stuff. It still kind of has that Midwestern hometown like feel. Being in Columbus, I think, is a great experience. When you look at the city, there's a lot of freedom of thinking, a freedom of expression, and you can feel the energy around it. People just in Ohio in general, but also Columbus is like a pride for their state and their city. A lot of the people that live here are just so inspired by where they live and what they do. It's awesome. You know, there's only one Columbus, obviously, and we're a smaller city, and we're an up-and-coming city. There's no other place I, I think I, I love more. When we talk about the culture of Columbus, it's a, a smaller town type of atmosphere. You can really feel that people are behind the team. This is what this city's all about. It's about unity. It's about coming together. Yeah, I mean, they're the Columbus crew. Even the name's inclusive. People go crazy over the crew. I mean, I'm from Argentina, and I can tell it's been growing like big steps at a time. When you, you go out Saturdays, and people just with the flags and shirts, it's ridiculous. This is Columbus, Ohio. The soccer gods are with us. The day I signed, I think Frankie actually told me that you just have to send a message, whether it be on or off the field. No matter what it is or how you send that message, it's important to have an identity and to be someone that people can look at and be like, I know what that kid's about. This is like one of the first like stadiums that were like soccer-based stadiums, and I don't think people understand that the culture behind soccer is so cool. Columbus and the history of the club is, is very rich in having the first professional soccer stadium, for example, or the first draft pick in Brian McBride. Those are awesome things, but at the same time, you have to evolve. I think the transition from the, the old crew badge to this one has been uh, a long time coming. I think it's a perfect time. You know, we have a lot of new players, the new owner, new coach, new technical staff, and the emblem certainly is new for us. Now it's, uh, it's a little bit more culminating in the city of Columbus and what it means to be part of Ohio. Um, I feel like there's a lot of good energy and this is just a big part of it. Energy is what fuels the players and with the rebrand, it's almost like a rebirth. Everything that they could give homage to, they do, and that be impressed. Their history, Columbus's history, to the fans. Or they've got the checkered flag in there for us. Like, that really means a lot to us. They hear us on the field when we're chanting and cheering for them, and they know it doesn't matter what's on the scoreboard, they're still ours. They belong to us. The fans are fantastic. I think we have a strong bond to the community, but it's only going to get better. And I think this is a, a huge step in the right direction. This change is important. The future of Columbus and the future of the Columbus Crew SC are tied together. We need each other to succeed. Oh